con los terroristas. Hello. So as you can see, I am now in the forest. I really like being here. So today I will be showing you how to prepare for getting into the forest and what to do if by some chance you get lost. So let's get started. So if you are planning on going for a walk or maybe for a hike, you would like to take a backpack with you so you can fit all your stuff. And I will be sh I will show you what I put in my backpack before I get here in the morning. So I have a bottle of water and it is really important to have a bottle of water, especially like a harder ones, just in case it falls so it doesn't break. So don't break glass bottles, of course. Then I have a sandwich to eat later I have a tissue this was in my backpack but I thought it was a bit windy so I thought I would just put it on so you can see it's a big heavy anorak so that to keep me warm from the wind and from the rain if by some chance it's raining and now here comes the most important part of my equipment so here in that little tiny pouch I have a lighter as you can see but it maybe you can't see anyways and I have a knife so this is the most important thing of my equipment because it's really if you get lost or even if you don't get lost it's really important to have a knife like if you need to get through some kind of bushes it would be easier just to cut them with the knife rather than just walk into the bushes and get scratches and all that stuff. And the lighter comes if you want to set fire and to keep warm or maybe if you have meat with you, which I wouldn't suggest, but if you have meat with you, it would be really useful so that you can just can collect some branches and things like that so that you can set a fire. So now when you have already seen what I carry in my backpack, when I usually go into the forest. Uh, I will give you some tiny tips that you can follow so that it's easier for you. First, you need to dress up warm. Like as you can see, I have this anorak, I have a sweatshirt, so it's pretty warm. Even if it gets colder, I won't be cold enough. Then it's really important to wear nice shoes. Mine are not that nice in the moment, but you need to make sure you're wearing waterproof shoes just in case you get lost like this <laughs> just in case you get lost and you want to make sure if it rains your feet does not get cold and wet and yucky and you don't want to be cold and get when you get cold anyway so something else that is really important to do is to make sure someone knows where you are so that if you get lost or if by some chance you fall or just something happens someone will come and look for you other thing if you're planning on going on a long trek you need to make sure they know exactly where you're going the same reason as the previous one like if you get lost or injured someone will come and help you so make sure you have a mobile phone uh, so you can call someone or just to make sure you have the right time or maybe you can have a compass on your phone and you can have maps and GPS if you have a nicer phone but I mean, if you have a phone with you, it will be useful anyways so now we will walk into the woods when I will be telling you what to do if by some chance you get lost so let's go so we are now walking up in the woods as you can see, there are bushes, there are some fallen branches because of the wind last night. So now, if you get lost, it's really important to stay calm. So if you are going up with a person, as I am doing it right now, you need to make sure you stay together, because if you separate, this will make it harder for people to find you, and then you just won't help each other anyway. So now we need to walk past that thing. So if you get lost, 
at night time. Well, you probably wouldn't be in the forest at night time, but if you see that it's getting darker, it's better to find a rock or a big tree like one of these so that you can stay in front of it so that you get like a shelter um, so even if it rains like the rain wouldn't get through the branches of the forest that fast um, so at least you will be well you will be wet anyways but it would be better uh, the another thing to make sure you do is try to not drink all your water if you don't have a lake or some kind of creek or river or any kind of watery thing that's around you so you need to make sure you drink your water carefully because it's better to have more water when you need it then if you don't have that much food it's the same like with the water you need to make sure you eat small portions so that you are not completely hungry but then you don't eat everything because of course you can never be sure that you will find berries or mushrooms and even if you find berries and mushrooms they may be poisonous and a tip here never ever ever eat white berries because usually they are the poisonous ones you can eat blueberries and raspberries and whatever you want to eat but don't eat white berries so that means if you're getting into the forest you may need you may want to take like a snack like sneakers bar or any kind of chocolate bar so that's like energy for you so that you can try to find someone or just do something positively for your survival so another thing you want to do into the forest is make sure you have a fire because at night it's usually cold so i won't be showing you how to set fire here now because it's really windy as you can probably see and it won't be a good idea to set fire now because it's it's just not a good idea um but you need to make sure you have fire uh, like three fires because if you have a triangle triangle of three fires that is the international sign that you are looking for help help uh and that means that you will be found easily and even if you don't have fire, if you don't have a lighter or matches or anything like that, you need to try to make some kind of noise, like even by grabbing two sticks like this, so that someone can hear you. Um, it will be helpful anyway. So, I think uh, today I showed you tiny tips of getting into the forest, how to get to the forest and how to survive if you get lost and i really hope this was helpful and i will be seeing you next time bye